what is going on everybody thank you for clicking the link this is your boy crisis 20 guys i know i know y'all been looking and looking and looking and can't find an answer because i've been in your boat until now you're gonna learn something today today you guys are gonna learn how to fix your graphical processor settings in photoshop so basically what i'm saying is if you get error message saying that your display driver in Photoshop is not working or, you know, Photoshop encountered a problem or if uh, Adobe Photoshop CS6 just stopped working, this is for you. All right. This video is for you. And if it doesn't fix your issue, you'll definitely learn something on how to go about fixing your issue. All right. So this is what you guys will be learning today. So I gathered a collection of things that might help you guys. All right, so we're talking about possible fixes, possible things to look at that you haven't looked at before, and also some things that you probably didn't notice or to check out, all right? So I kinda just grabbed a collection of those. So I'ma just give you guys, give it to you guys straightforward. And guys, I know for some of you guys it might not solve your issue, but I'm hoping that i can be of some assistance to you you have different computers it could be an apple it could be different things going along with it but i want you to take the core concept of what i'm saying to you and try to apply it to what you're doing at home all right a lot of these youtubers don't you know you leave comments there they don't respond but guys i'm not like that give me your best shot and i'll try my best and i'll work with you down in the comments below if you want to tell me your scenario tell me i'll listen and i'll try to help you i'm not one of those people all right so no further ado let's get this thing started i'm gonna switch over to my pc now so if you're getting these type of error messages i'm gonna put it over here if you're getting this here all right that's one of the messages that comes up with the error messages if you're getting if you're getting this here Photoshop has encountered a problem this is for you all right this is all this is for you right here so I wanted to go over the error messages in the beginning first because I want you guys to understand what problems I'm trying to help you guys fix all right so those are the common errors I was getting when I was having problems with my Photoshop all right, so I just want you guys to know that. All right, so now the fix or how to go about fixing it. Um, so I'm gonna open Photoshop really quick because I want you guys to see something, all right? So how you know you have a problem with Photoshop, right? Obviously it's crashing. You're getting notifications saying it's crashing as soon as you open it things like that uh, if you are able to get into it um, if you go to help and go to system info you're going to see you're going to see something like this basically it's going to list out your whole system info but on your screen it's going to say no video card detected all right so that's what it's going to say right there on my screen here this is what the final result is going to be yours should say this video card vendor and it should find your vendor all right it should find the the vendor of your graphics card and things like that so that's the ending result all right that's when you know it's working but if it's not working you're going to see no video card detected all right so that's one way to know you have an issue and obviously if you see the error messages in the beginning of course there's an issue there so gpu graphical processor unit all right your graphic card your video card whatever you want to call it that is the issue so the first thing that i've searched around for everyone's saying update your driver update your driver update your driver nine times out of ten a lot of you guys have the updated driver from your company's website but if you haven't done it in a while obviously go ahead and check your manufacturer's website and do so 
if you have two different video cards on your PC, okay, it will cause a conflict with Photoshop. Let me explain. So if you go to start and type in device manager, I have two graphic cards, two GPUs, two video cards, whatever you want to call it. I have two graphic cards on my PC right now. In the Radeon, I had my HDM, um, sorry, I had my DVI input inside of my Radeon, okay? Then I had a VGA cable plugged into the NVIDIA GeForce GT. Photoshop does not like it. Photoshop has a problem trying to see two different graphics cards. So what I did was it can only read one graphic card. So what I did was I took out my connection with the Radeon and put it into my NVIDIA GeForce GT. Okay, it had the DVI slot there. So I plugged that in. And then what I did was um, I disabled the graphics card that I'm not currently using because again, Photoshop is confused. It doesn't know which graphic card to choose or what it should mean, all right? So after you put your connections into one graphics card, okay, whatever you have, HDMI, whatever, make sure you're using all in one graphics card, all right? Disable the extra one, at least for now, until you're done Photoshop and you can, you know, put your connections back. But that was my issue I had. I didn't know Photoshop had a problem reading two. So I put all my connections into one, disabled my graphics card. So I just went right, I right clicked here and then went to disable. And then, um, then I pretty much closed it out. When I opened up Photoshop and then you go to, uh, you can hit control K to open up the uh, preferences and then go to performance and then it found my graphics card after I did that, all right? Yours might be grayed out right now if you haven't done what I told you earlier already, um, but yours might be grayed out here. But this is what fixed my particular issue because it was battling two different graphics cards. So that's one way you could fix your issue. All right, another thing to check is to Check um, Adobe's uh, website, and basically they have a section of tested cards, all right? So tested video cards, they have a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of video cards they tested and things they have not tested. If you fall amongst that category, then um, most likely you're just gonna have to get another graphics card, all right? Um, if it falls under here, you should be good, all right? So that's another thing. My video card falls upon the tested card, so I'm okay. Um, but it still wasn't working for me. So this is the area you can check to make sure you know your graphics card is compatible with Photoshop. Another thing they said to try was um, to go into the preferences here and if you're like, if your uh, Photoshop is crashing, they said to take off the use open CL. Um, they said to take off that option. Also unchecking use graphics processor. If you uncheck it, that also might stop your Photoshop from crashing. So that also might help as well. Also, you can slide your slider to 70%. All right, slide your slider to 70%. And also, if you see like memory errors or anything like that, then I've, you can reduce the percentage. You can go up to 100%, but you also got to keep in mind of other programs that are running as well. But I wouldn't recommend going full 100, but you can increase the percentage if you want to. Also, you can try reducing the number of history states. This will increase your memory as well if you reduce the number of history states. And, and on the cache levels, you can increase the cache levels as well to try to help you also minimize those errors that you're getting. 
so if you're working with large files or anything like that just go ahead and try to increase the cache levels and see if that works out for you if you work with smaller images then you can reduce the cache levels this should improve the photoshop's performance if you deal with smaller images um also in device manager um you can uh if you go to upload driver go to browse okay and then go to let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer there's different ones you can pick from if you um obviously you don't want the basic but that's the one that's already installed but they have different ones you can choose from you know different graphics cards so you can try that um if yours not there okay you can try that um you can also i want you to see this too and the radeon one see they have different version numbers so for depending on the graphics card see this one here has a different version number so obviously today this one's uh more closer to this one is actually this month because it's 21st so 11 days back so select the version that's obviously closer to the your current date and then hit next and then install the driver that way um you could try that um if that doesn't work try to uninstall and reinstall the driver i did i did a lot of messing around in the device manager though um because i started changing around stuff in here and then I would open up Photoshop to see if it'll find my driver. It still didn't, kept crashing and stuff like that. So once I figured out, you know, to disable it and just have one running, then I was fine. It was able to pick it up, no problem. Another thing I read was that they said to go to your NVIDIA control panel, if you have NVIDIA, obviously. All right. And then go to manage 3D settings, program settings, and then you're gonna find Photoshop in the list of your list here. You're gonna find Photoshop. And then I, and then in here, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to make high performance, but anything with GPU in it, that would be the first thing I would go to. Um, try to make it uh, high performance as, um, as high as possible. When I was reading, they had a different version of NVIDIA control panel. It was a different version and they, they had an option where you can select high performance, mid performance or basic performance where number two is at. But this version here is different. So maybe you can mess around with these settings here and see what works from what doesn't. So this might help you. So those are the things that they also said you can try. So that's the only thing I could think of guys that will try to help you. You know, those are the only things that I found collectively as a whole. Um, again, guys, leave a comment below if none of this worked or if you still need help, guys, I'm here for you, all right? Just make sure you put a comment down and I'll get to you, all right? So thanks for watching guys, this is your boy Crisis20 and I'll catch you guys at another Photoshop tutorial. Peace.